It did not. <laughs> okay, fine. It went. Now I'm going to check my audio, make sure that's good because it doesn't like to go. All right, we're good. I'll start it over. I'm all antsy anyway. The live, lithe figured operator crouches high up on the decorative fixture in the massive corporate offices of Militech, her suit and cyberware protecting her from detection. Scanning the area with her optical implant, she can see many of the office employees have concealed weapons, as well as a pair of unassuming security guards by the entrance. Aware that her target is coming through those doors in 30 seconds, having watched and measured the man's stride and knowing his penchant for punctuality from previous visits, she is confident that it's of his arrival time. She draws her razor-sharp katana from the place on her back and loosens the two SMGs in her holsters. With her free hand, she removes a grenade from her belt and has it ready. A few seconds later, her target and four security personnel with him walk through the door. She waits till they're below her and she jumps behind them, mentally activating her stealth cyberware, rendering her, her completely invisible to all but the best. All but the best implants. Two quick cuts first down the two guards behind him, and she rolls the grenade behind her to the original two guards by the door. She quickly sheathes the blade, bringing her two full auto SMGs to extension and bursts 10 rounds into each of the other two security guards near her target. The be bewildered and panicking target draws his handgun far too slowly and turns around, of course, to see nothing. She strides to his left, left and breathes poisonous clouds into his face as she empties, as he empties his full auto pistol into the air in front of him. She gently places a black lily in his suit pocket. Twelve seconds of invisibility left. She runs out of the room and dives out the open in the office window that she came through, landing in the open door of the stealth AV she left floating there. A target yelling and grasped her target yelling and grasping for air as she knew he was. It left a satisfied smile on her face. The death lily finally calls her employer from Arasaka to give her a report. From leaked Arasaka internal documents and reported on by an anonymous media anonymous media man just over two years ago. With the stunning news of the likely betrayal of your current employer, things feel grim. The large bomb case sits in your car, and a few of you have just left from speaking to the Netrunner virus. Many of questions are left unanswered, and you feel as though there's too much to keep up with. What do you do? Shit my pants. I need to go race and declare my mind. Doug, I, I say these explosives that are on us and like the job that we have is just too risky. So we need to do something to do. So hey guys, 